Soon Kate Middleton will be royalty, married to Prince William, one day a queen. But before all the adoration, the Middleton family came from more modest roots, impoverished coal miners. This is the village of Hettonley Hole, near Durham in northeast England, the place where Kate's family, on her mother's side, worked the land. John Harrison is a cousin, a retired manual worker. It's, it's, it's a nice feeling to know that uh, there's something there at the, in the family, you know, we, we're not just uh, working class, we're, we're going to be, uh, well, we'll still be working class, but we'll relate it to uh, royalty. It, it will eventually sink in, I think. In 1919, few in the family thought much about life outside the mines, but Kate's great-grandfather, Thomas Harrison, would leave coal country, heading for the middle class. His granddaughter married a businessman, their daughter about to marry a prince. This lets in a whole section of the British public who've never ever been able to think of royal family apart from uh, an entity that is up there somewhere. What she can do is open the doors so that people can think, ordinary people can think, well maybe my daughter could marry a future prince. In a class conscious society like Britain, this just does not happen. But will hints of these more modest roots drift up to the royal family? She's, she's going to stamp a northeast, hopefully, a, a, a northeast uh, way of life onto her. It's not that you know what the northeast way of life is, but um, I'm sure they'll make a lovely couple. They're definitely more down to earth and more friendly um, than, uh, well, not being too nasty like, but Prince Charles is uh, he's a, definitely a prince, isn't he? A bride with roots from a humble place, soon to be in regal company. Lee Powell, The Associated Press.